<laughs> You're live. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, I have Leah Griffith here. Thank you for this. Thank you. She is going to teach us how to make this crepe paper flower. So I'm so excited. I'm so nervous as the student today. Oh. <laughs> well, you won't be by this time with that. I'll tell you that. Okay. And if you have questions, please put them in all caps in the live. And then if we don't get them answered, Leah and her team mm -hmm. and I will go down and answer the comments after the video. Mm -hmm. So if you're not, if you're watching the replay, feel free to ask the questions and we'll answer them. Yes. And Emily is holding the camera, so she'll shout out your questions. Yeah, hi everyone. So many comments already. Yes. Bobby's okay. saying hello, everyone. Hey, Sharon Bobby. is so excited about this. Everyone is so excited, basically. A lot of excitement. Yes. <laughs> you tell where we are. They already know where we are, right? Yeah, the Bobby. Cricket Mountain yeah. Makeup Fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we just taught four classes already, so I'm just feeling smooth and ready, and let's go. All, All right. right. We pre cut, too. So we took the hard part away. You can cut these on the Cricut. But we went ahead and just cut them really quickly because they're easy. Look at that. Yeah. So we're going to make this hibiscus flower. And it's actually from the book. I made this flower, I would say, 15 minutes before our party on, on Sunday night. We had a luau party uh -huh. and I needed something for my hair. So here's the pattern. And in the book, we actually used a heavy crepe paper. But today we're going to use the extra fine crepe paper because you actually can cross over and use different papers so that's what we're going to do and then just to show you really quick here's the pattern in the book we're not going to do the leaf today but we're going to do the flower and it's so simple it's so simple to cut and you can again get the pattern printed or use your svg to use it your cutting machine mary wants to know if the book's available now and a couple of uh -huh. people saying they can't hear you leah oh, okay. <laughs> uh, i've been teaching a lot today so my voice is getting a little wobbly right <laughs> i'll try to speak louder so thank you for letting me know the book is available August 7th, so just another week, right? Mm -hmm. What's today? August, it's week today. Oh, week today. Yeah. So it's available in a week. You can pre-order it right now on Amazon. Yeah, and I'll put the link in the description after the video. Mm -hmm. So I think we should tell them why we're here. Because we were watching your video when you were talking about oh, yeah. the, the other book or this book? The other book. The other book. But their comments came up saying that they had the Leah Griffith crepe paper. You guys were saying this, but you guys were too scared to use it. And really, and really <laughs> said the same thing. And since we knew we were going to be at the same place, we thought, let's get together and make a flower and kind of take the mystery out of the crepe paper. Yes. Yes. It's not scary. This stuff is so easy to work with. Okay, you both have to speak up because people are struggling to hear both of you. Okay. I'm as close as I can possibly. The microphone is on the other, other side. side. Oh, it's like facing me, so it. they can hear her better. Oh, gotcha. Oh. Okay. Okay, you're just gonna have to shout, ladies. Okay, we're gonna shout. <laughs> we're gonna shout. Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay, so we have petals cut out, and I have five of them for you as well. And the thing that's really important, I think, this is my number one thing with crepe paper, is you want to make sure the grain line is going the right direction. In the patterns, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's important because if you cut it the other way, you'll have a floppy flower, and you do not want floppy flowers, okay? <laughs> so make sure the grain line goes the direction of the pattern, and the pattern, let me show you right here. I marked them with crepe paper, of course, because that's what I had. Okay, so see these little three marks there? That shows the grain line. So the grain needs to go the same direction. Awesome. Yep. See, that's really good to know. Yes. yes. <laughs> and that right there is the biggest tip. If you do that, you'll probably be successful. Renee wants to know if you cut these on the crickets. We actually cut these by hand very quickly. Today when we were doing our class, and I'll probably have somebody run over and grab one because I'll show you guys what we made in the classes, we cut all of the petals on the cricket. So you can do it either way. Yeah, we like to do the little bit more. And you get SVGs with the book. Yes, the, the book comes with, there's 20 flowers in here that all the SVGs and the patterns come with the book, as well as instructions, and then I teach you how to arrange the flowers as well. All right, so what we're going to do, we have some wires here, and we have a wire cutter. I'm going to let you use the lighter wires, though, because they're easier to manage. So I'm going to measure the wire for the petal, this particular one, and I want it just a little bit longer. And actually, I might need more wire. Megan, 
I know you thought you were resting, Megan. And Megan is here uh, for my team helping us out. So I, I'm going to need five of those about the same length. And I'll let you go ahead and use that. So when you cut this on the Cricut, which mat do you use? So we have used the light grip mat and we use the fabric mat. And both of them work. Just be careful not to press it down too hard so it's hard to get off. You don't want to stretch it when you're peeling it off the mat. And also you don't want it so light that it, that it falls off while it's cutting. It's, you know, you just have use to that bit. Okay. <laughs> I need a class on using oh. these. <laughs> See, I love this tool, but Ken, I have to know what it is. It's a needle nose plier with a cutting tool, but you have to go all the way down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ashley says oh. she loves your hair, Melody. Ashley loves your hair. Did you find some more white ones? That's fine. That's fine. Maybe a couple. Bring a couple. So these ones are 20 gauge. Okay, that's fine. The other one I'm using is 20 gauge as well. Okay. So we like to use a 20 gauge or a 24 gauge wire, and I'll, tell, I'll just show you what I just did. Um, but, and this is white paper covered wire. So I'm kind of getting ahead, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, I was going to show them that too. All right, so what I'm doing is I have my the wire cut out. I'll measure it with my fingers, grab it. Take the glue, shove it into my oh, fingers, that's squeeze cool. the glue, and pull it out. And there's a perfectly glued wire. I'm going to let you do yours. Then no. I'll place it right in the middle and then fold it over. You can kind of move it around a little bit because you want it to be smack dab in the middle. And then you'll open up your petal again. Jaquetta wow. wants to know where she can buy the crepe paper. Yeah, the crepe paper you can get on Amazon. Uh, they have, if you have um, uh, Prime, they, you know, of course it's on Amazon Prime. You can also get it at leahgriffith.com. They have it at Blick stores. And there's a few other places too, but those are the three main ones. And a couple of people asking what gauge the wire is. So this wire right now is 20. We prefer 24, but we ran out. <laughs> so 24, this is a little heavier, is the best. 24 with the paper covering. You can also find that on Amazon. And it's uh, made by um, 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 Decor. Decor is the brand, and it comes in these long white packets. It's beautiful. Blessed Mama wants to know when, uh, where she can get the book. The book is on Amazon, and it's all pre-order. Everything's Amazon. So let me just days. show them the yes. name again. So oh, that's what they want to be searching for on Amazon. It's actually, actually out they on can, the seventh. I have a uh, link to my Amazon store, oh, yes. and yes. the book is in that link. It's I have a section for books. I think I have only four books. Two of them are Leah's. That's why we love her. <laughs> How are you getting on there, Melody? <laughs> well, I don't think I did the first one very well, but I think I did this one better. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely yeah. perfect. See, and the first one, I didn't get in there before. This tip wasn't in there all the way. I don't think that's going to matter, and I'll show you why when we're done. So go ahead and flatten it out, and uh, we're going to let them dry. So we ran okay. out of... How many wires did you get? Do you I needed one, one more. One more, okay. So we're mixing. She has the lighter wire, and then I have the heavier. <clears throat> but they both work. Um, this is what happens wh after farmer classes. Where do they get this glue? I've never seen a top yeah. like that. That's this this cool. is one of the new tops. It's the upside down version, which I love because, you know, I well, first of all, I love it the most because the cap stays on, where the other one, the cap falls off. And once your cap is gone, it hardens, and it's hard to get in. Right. So I, I think we got these on, um, okay, guess. Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, we ordered a whole box of them the other day. So we go through this glue. Did I cut you another wire? There. Yeah, no, you did. No, I did. Bless Mama wants to know if this is going to stay on your channel, Melody, so that she can watch it later. I've never deleted a video off my channel, uh -huh. so yes. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> yes, we want you guys to have this. And you just sort of press it down. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is you'll you'll notice that the crepe paper is not completely flat. It's a little bit ruffled and rumply. In the end, it doesn't matter because we're going to curl it and stretch it. Um, and if you really want it to be flat, you can iron it with an iron. Just no steam. Oh, cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can use an easy press. At the easy press is my favorite. The little easy press would be great. Yes. 
Yes, I have iron. I, the Easy Press is my favorite iron right now, and that, and I don't get paid to say that. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Melanie's saying that she just saw all your tools, Leah, in her local Joanne's, and is having oh. to completely restart her craft oh. stash. <laughs> they are my favorite color. Yeah. Oh, what are you talking about? What about the hot pink? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Fit Crafters just pre-ordered the book. Yay. So how are we doing? Okay, I have all five ready. I'm going to go ahead and do your last one here for Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we are taking the mystery out of crepe paper flower making. <laughs> yes. This would be something, this isn't very hard. It would be good it's to really for not. little girls. I'm thinking like Girl Scouts yeah. or something, mm -hmm. having a group yeah. of... You know, in the, the last two days we taught, like I said, we taught four classes, and there were a lot of beginning beginner crafters and advanced crafters. We had a really mm -hmm. wide array, and the beautiful thing was everyone walked out with a gorgeous flower. Do you want to hand me that flower, Emily, and I'll show you show them what we made. So this is the flower that we made in our class, and it's a similar style where we put the wire into the petals, and we added the pen pastel, and we, we so it's similar but different, you know? And everyone was so happy with their flower. I don't know that we had any bum flower. So, all right. Melinda wants to know more about that glue. Should we talk about that yes. again quickly? So right, this is turbo tacky glue, glue. Yeah. that's always oh, ready to it. use. Yeah. Um, so this cap means that it doesn't dry out, is that right? Yes, it does. So someone is, is vacuuming again. <laughs> it's a very clean hotel. <laughs> okay, while those are drying, I'm gonna have you work on another piece. So I have this little oblong piece, and normally I would do a pink and sheer cut. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> I'll, I would do a pink and sheer cut because I prefer things not to be flat. I don't have those today, but just it's in the book so you can know. I'll just fold it in half and I fold it against the grain so you can see the grain is going this direction. You can go ahead and do that with yours. Just fold it in half like that, press it together. And I'm gonna let you use these scissors, but I'll start with them. I have another pair I can use. And then what we'll do is just make tiny little eyelash cuts. And that's why I love these scissors because they're so pointed and sharp. Mm -hmm. I have another pair here. So we've got Glenda asking again, um, did you cut these on the maker or the Cricut? We cut these by hand, but yes, we have the SVG cut files so you can cut them on the maker. Bobby's Papercraft is here and he is quite usefully answering lots of people's questions and <laughs> linking to Leah Griffith. Uh, yeah. He's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's my channel cheerleader. I do a class on Design Space every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. and we start at 10:30, just chatting. And he, he's like the comedian before the show. Like he gets everybody excited, <laughs> really and we do Aww. the wave with emojis before him, and he starts all that. And you know, thank you, Bobby. Oh, uh, he's thanks awesome. For answering questions. He's laughing. He's <laughs> <laughs> Laura McLean has pre-ordered the book. Wonderful. Still a couple of people struggling to hear. Okay, we'll try to talk louder. I'm so this not is, doing a good job at this. Actually, you're doing a wonderful <laughs> job. You're, you're doing an amazing job. Now remember, this is my first time. They're used to me telling them how to do things. Uh, <laughs> I've never worked with this before, so you can do at least what I'm doing. Yes, you can. This is kind of what it looks like when you're done. So it's folded. The fold piece is right here, and then this is the open piece. And is, this is what we're doing with it. We're making this right here. And you know, I, I don't know, I probably have my glasses on when I did this, but look how fine I cut that. Yeah. I, I didn't do, do quite that good. I stuff. didn't either. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. So the next thing, we have this done. I cut you a piece of wire here, and I bent the tip just a little bit. That'll give you more glue, uh, more surface to glue on. So I'm going to run a bead of glue right down the edge and I'm putting it on an angle. Can you guys see that? And then I'll just wrap it around. And you can do this with the hot glue as well. I guess I did do burn like in the fingers. hot. Well, <laughs> I, I use low temperature hot glue, so I don't burn my fingers. But then you just wrap it around at an angle to get this beautiful center of your flower. 
So Blessed Mum, I just want a reminder on where to find the pattern for this uh, and where to get the paper. So the pattern is in the book. It's one of the book patterns. Um, and this is the book right here, Quick Paper Flowers. You can get the book for, uh, it might be on sale, but it's usually $16.99 on Amazon. Or the ebook is, is it three ninety nine? Two ninety nine. Yeah, two ninety nine. You get all the patterns. So yeah, you get the SVGs yeah. for two ninety nine. Normally, it's yeah. two ninety nine for one SVG, <laughs> and you get the book. Like, it's a really good deal. And, and there's there are twenty one flowers in this book, so. Cindy wants to know if you're going to be teaching this melody. Yeah, I will be. Soon. Yes, yeah. she will. I might need a little more practice. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, it's not as good as hers. But it looks good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not, not good. There's it's no good. flower that's the same or perfect. I'm wondering if we should get a piece of paper to do our pen pastels. Oh, I'm yeah, that's that. a good idea. Okay. Um, here. <laughs> do you want to use that? Okay, we'll just turn this over. This is the, the mat. We're just going to use the plastic on these mats so that we don't get the table dirty. And yeah, we're good. Thanks. <laughs> and we'll put these right over here. So these are pan pastels. There used to be another one here, but it disappeared. That's okay. So this is, um, you can get this at blick.com. So it's a, or blick, blick.com or leahgraphics.com. It's an art supply material. And it is, artists use it to paint painting. So it's a really high quality. And you, we use it a lot to color our crepe paper. So we use it in a craft sense. And we just add this little bit of gradation. You can see it here on the tulip as well. You don't have to use the pan pastels. It's just fun. So yeah. it's just a little added touch if you want to. So you can see this one, there's no pan pastel. It's still beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, so grab your sponge. So okay. I'm turning it over so my fold on my wire is down. And okay. then I'm gonna go super crazy and do orange. Why not? So, Melody, you're going to have links for the book, the pan pastels, the tools after the video because that's what everybody wants yes. to know. Yes. <laughs> Where can they get all this amazing stuff? Mostly Amazon. <laughs> I don't think Amazon has the pan pastels yet, but Blick.com does for sure, and I know LeahGriffith.com does as well, the shop. So the thing about using the pan pastels is I, I usually try to go with the grain for the most part and then just blend, 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 blend until it looks good to you. We saw a lot of creativity with the pan pastels with the, the classes and all the different things that the colors and the color combinations. I saw some polka dots. I'm just going to show them the back of this because a lot of people are asking. So it's pan pastel. P -A -N, pan, P-A-N pastel. It's one word. And they come, I think in total there's about 90 different colors, but this is the Leah Griffith pack. Um, well, that, seven, usually seven. <laughs> yeah, we lost one. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Yeah. yeah. It, it kind of goes back to our grade school days. Yeah, that's what I feel like. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's a little bit of finger painting feeling. Yeah. And there's just different things you can use these pan pastels on. We use them with felt. We use it with, uh, you know, like a frosted paper, the cardstock paper. We do put a fixative on those. Um, but, you know, you can use these in so many different ways. And the little sponges that you're using? So the pan pastels come with two of these sponges. And then they also have, you can get them in packs to get extras. And they're washable, so if you need to clean them, you can wash them out. And Kristen wants to know how you look after these flowers once you've made them. <laughs> well, don't water them. Just, just <laughs> <stay in. laughs> um, You know, we, we try to set them places where they don't get crushed. Uh, as far as dusting them off, the best way is to take a blow dryer and just blow them off. Um, I would say just set them places where they ha they're not touched by anything else. And I have to say that working with the crepe paper with the wire is so nice because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something really horrific here. Watch this. Okay, ready? Oh, man. Look, it's going to bloom again. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> so the wires just really give it longer life because you can reshape them. And we love adding wires to our flowers. 
Look at you, girl. You mm -hmm. got it. Okay, now we're going to take this back again. And oftentimes, in fact, let's just do it. I should have done this before. Let's do it right. I will cut just these little strips here. Laura asks what weight of crepe paper you're using because she missed yes. the beginning of the So the crepe, this is the extra fine crepe paper and it comes in packs of 10 or we have it on our site, packs of one that are really long. These ship easier, so the packs of 10 are really nice. So let's take your little crepe um, bit that I just made for you and just add some glue. Just a line of glue will work. And then I'm just going to wrap the stem so that we can cover some of that white wire. You just do it at an angle. My fingers always get really messy. <laughs> that's, that's part of the fun though. So it looks something like this. That's it. Then, so we have five petals. And I'll just place them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and forth, front and back, but they're flat. Can you hear me? Am I talking loud enough? Yeah, there's a few people are struggling here I'm and there. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's still, I think it's just because the microphone's on the wrong, on the wrong side. side. So I'm putting them back and forth, but I'm making for sure the pastels toward the center. And if I mess up and do it the other way, that's okay. This is floral tape, and I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's, it's kind of, it takes a little bit to learn. All right, so you warm the floral tape up with your fingers at the end because it's wax on crepe paper. Wrap it around. Whoops, see I ripped it? No problem, we'll just start again. It, it's very delicate, so it rips easily. And then I'll just wrap it around. I'll cut that end off. Then I'm going to move my petals out. And if I've accidentally flipped one of them over, you can I can turn it over. Like this one's kind of backwards, but that's okay. I'll just turn it over. You can make whatever shape you want, whatever shape looks more like the hibiscus to you. But the, I think the, the key thing is, is I'm going to take the edge and very gently stretch it to give it a bit of a ruffle. And this is the difference right here between inexpensive Chinese crepe paper and nicer crepe paper is the stretch. Okay. This has a 130% stretch where Chinese crepe paper might have 30%. So, so just, we want uh, the Leah Griffith brand. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, use what you have, but yeah, I really love yeah. my crepe paper. <laughs> yes, so that's kind of how we're going to do it. So I'm going to finish this in a minute, but we're going to get yours on. Okay. So. Go ahead and place so all your petals. I put all these like this. Uh -huh. And you can just stack like three on one side and two on the other side. That's easy because that way okay. it's easier to hold and wrap. And I'm going to start this for you just to make it easy and then you can finish it. Look how easy this is. It is. It's awkward because I'm in front of you doing this live on a video. <laughs> You if are I nailing just, it. If I'm doing it at home, it usually turns out better when no one's well, watching. I have, I have, I, just to feel better, I'm the same way. Like the, the oftentimes the flowers that I make on film or on video, I'm, they're a little sloppy because I'm in a hurry and I'm talking. Right. And, and we're so, trying to get them to see everything yeah, yeah, yeah. and it doesn't Oh, always... everyone says you're doing great, Melody. She is. I totally agree. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm just going to start it for you. And well, yeah, we can just make sure that all these are even if you if you want to. That one's back a little further. Sometimes if you want, if this is too much to handle five, tape on one at a time. Like do one and then add another one and add another one. And then I'll start it. And then I'm gonna let you finish because you have okay. to experience. So I just wrapped it around a few times and now I'll do an angle. And you just stretch it as you go. Stretch it and wrap, stretch and wrap. And I, and if you rip it, that's okay too. So crepe, uh, tape, taping, uh, flower taping takes practice. So be really kind and gentle with yourself. So there's a, you know, you, you learn how much you can stretch and how, when it starts to rip. 
And I want to tell people to um, practice because that's one thing. They do something, and if they don't do it perfect the first time, they never try again. Yeah. You have to try again and again. I agree. And again, be really gentle and make with it yourself. Fun. Yeah, make it fun. The, I try to make flowers. Start with a simple flower, and I think this one is a good one, and the tulips are good ones, these carrot tulips. Something that um, is simple enough that you'll have success, and then pick something that might be a little more difficult. Because the first time I made a crepe paper flower, you guys, it did, I, I would be embarrassed to show it, okay? <laughs> and, now, and now I make them every day, so. Um, they would like to know if you can spin the flower around so yes. they can get a really good look at it. So I'm gonna show both of them here. So I did different colors. This one has a pink on the inside and this one's orange. Oh, Jennifer's loving your attitude, Leah, being kind with yes, yourself. absolutely. <laughs> And then here's the leaf. The, the leaf is a little bit tattered because it's been <laughs> through a few trips, but it's the same thing where we just put the wire in the middle and glued it together and you have a beautiful leaf. And, you, and in this case though, it's two pieces of leaf and it's at an angle so you get this V cut. Can right, so that? Lisa was just asking about the leaf. Yes, so there's, you can see how the grain goes this way and then the grain goes this way and it looks like the leaves. And it shows that in the book. I yes. noticed that the leaves, the grains weren't up and down. Yeah. They were at an angle, angle. to do exactly mm -hmm. how to put it on there. So these we went ahead and made it straight because that's what the flower looks like where we just put the wire in the middle by folding it. These we had two pieces and glued them together with the wire in the middle with the grain going in a V. Okay. So you know each flower is very specific for um, the actual flower itself. We try to make them realistic. That's kind oh, of they sad. are. Yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So are you ready? Yeah. What do I do? Okay. So just start peeling them back. It's just kind of bending them like this. Yep. Can you guys go to the hotel? <laughs> Look at this. My flower is blooming, you guys. It's so beautiful. Okay, so now I have to separate. So you just very this. gently, and the way that I like to say is, imagine it as clay in your hands and very, very gently move the clay. That makes a really good image for people too. Bobby's asking if you can use pre-wrapped wire stems. Yes, we are using paper covered wire. You can use, um, the fabric covered wire, the thread covered wire. We prefer the paper covered, but it's up to you. You just find what's right, what works best for you, and what's available. Melody, you are getting so much love for this. She's doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking the mystery out of the crepe paper, you guys. Renee's saying she'd be afraid to rip the crepe paper. You know, sometimes we rip the crepe paper and then we it's just, okay. <laughs> yeah, you just make another one. If it's, don't be afraid, yeah. like I am. I feel like I'm afraid. <laughs> and I, I think that sometimes it depends on the flower. If I rip, I might just trim it off and make it part of the shape. Maybe look, make it look like a bug bit it. I don't know. Oh yeah. yeah. Or you could get a little ladybug yeah. thing and stick mm -hmm. right on it. Yeah. Um, another thing, like people are afraid to open their machines, mm -hmm. their boxes, because they're afraid to mess something up. Just make something with the plan to throw it away. Yeah. Is yeah, because then it's okay. Yeah, yeah. just suggested that you practice with your dollar store crepe paper. That's a good idea too. Just remember the dollar store crepe paper won't stretch as much. A flower like this is perfect because it's not, you don't need it to stretch very much. And we've made this flower with the heavy crepe paper, so yes. Practice with your dollar store. If you want, I'll, I'll do some more videos on it so you can see yes. me do more. And it's really easy. Yay! I <laughs> love hearing you it say really that. It really is easy. <laughs> can I I'm you? just nervous <laughs> because I'm with her. <laughs> I'm nervous because I'm with her. <laughs> I've never watched you make a flower. I didn't take any of your classes. What? I've never. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do any and of my very first. Beautiful it is, you guys. Yeah. Aren't you really proud of yourself now? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> oh. It's gorgeous. I've never played with crepe paper before. And now you will. So yeah. I, I warn people, it's a bit addictive. 
Yeah. Once you dip into that paper. Well, when I saw your paper flowers last, last year, year. Uh -huh. all of those bouquets, they looked real. Mm -hmm. And we're like, these aren't real flowers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They looked real. Yeah, we, we did, what, nine, eight? These would be nine? great for weddings and yes. stuff. Yes, and you can mix them with real flowers and real greens. Oh, yeah. And then you, these are keepsakes. Yeah. So, and like I did the other night, I wore this in my hair. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there's so much you can do. Boutonnieres, corsages, you know, get, put this on a gift as a, as a little to gift topper. And they can smash if you're traveling. They can smash and you can Now, just... not all of them can, but the wire okay. ones, absolutely. The wire ones, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you make a ranunculus or something that's, um, or a rose, you probably don't want to smash it, but like, I know. But this one is perfect for that because yeah. it's, it's ruffly. It's a parrot And what's look. inside this one? Yeah, this one. So this one we made, we didn't do this today. This was our other version um, where we twist to make the um, stamen. So it has two colors. It has the yellow and then the black to make the stamen. The class that we did today, we actually cut it out of just frosted paper to make it simple mm -hmm. because we wouldn't have been able to finish the class. A couple of people asking if you're actually live. Are you here at the moment, ladies? Yes, <laughs> we are live. live. <laughs> <laughs> they're wondering if it was a fake, a fake light. Yeah, we're a little bit sleepy. But we Maybe they don't know why we're, we're here. in that live chat, you're seeing it live. Right. Yes. Why are we here? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Why are we here, Emily? <laughs> <laughs> or where are you even? Oh. We're in Salt Lake City, Utah, mm -hmm. at the Cricket Mountain Makeathon event. Leah's doing some classes on the paper flowers, and mm -hmm. I was doing some classes on design space. Yeah. And we have this book. <laughs> she has this book. <laughs> <laughs> Next week you're going to be making some flowers for me, okay? Yes. The same. <laughs> yes. I have this book at home. So I'm going to look through it and make some flowers, and we'll do some videos on it. Yay. And I'll tell them ahead of time which flower I make for a video, so maybe we could do it alongside each other. That'd be so great. they could do it at home. We'll tell you ahead of time what flower we're doing, and you can have it all cut out. And then we'll do it together, so I, they can do it, follow along with me. And I'll, I'll point out some of the simpler ones you can start with. Mm -hmm. And then you guys can grow and grow. and Yeah, we don't want to start with the hardest one. No. <laughs> There's a lot of really good variation in this book. So Awesome. Yeah, this is this one I picked for you just because you're so tropical. And I just thought it fit you. So, But this is one of the more simple ones. If you guys saw it and liked it, go make it at home. Yeah. You, could even, you, you may not even need a pattern. You could just make it up because it's so simple. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you guys for joining. Thanks.